And let's take a look at that here on our satellite loop. I really want to wait until it gets to the very beginning because you could just see the explosion of that underwater volcano earlier. There it goes. And keep in mind, this is pretty far to the east of Australia, more than 2,000 miles away, just to get a better perspective of how far away that is from Australia and certainly far to the west of the United States. But it is enough to prompt all these tsunami advisories all along the Pacific Northwest Coast as far south as the Los Angeles area all the way until Tuesday. Now there's already been a lot of coastal flooding and major tidal swings all along the U.S. West Coast. Not related to that, there is this cutoff low area of low pressure. It's just been sitting there spinning off the West Coast, trying to kick in some more showers across Southern California, but not here at home. At the most, we've been finding a lot of periods of clouds earlier today, and that's looking to be the trend from here on out tonight. There it is, there's that low, it's just sitting there, kind of minding its own business. It's been trying oh so hard to kick in some moisture right here. Just got a lot of dry air near the surface to combat that. So that's why going forward, we're keeping things dry just with clouds. A few clouds out the door on Sunday morning. We should return to a little bit more afternoon sunshine, certainly compared to what we saw earlier today. So we'll go with more filtered sunshine tomorrow. We'll keep a few clouds in check by tomorrow evening. Out the door will look a bit like this on Sunday. A cold winter morning in the high country. Teens, 20s, 30s throughout the lower deserts. We'll start you out again in the lower to the upper 40s. So you want to bundle up. There's certainly going to be a bite to the air for that morning walk, run, jog. Valley temperatures at 7 a.m. in the upper 40s. Lower 50s by 9 a.m. By lunchtime, we'll sneak our way back to the lower 60s. And that sun will be up just after 7.30. All right, that's more like it by tomorrow afternoon. Highs throughout the valley will return to the lower 70s. Lower 60s, places like Sedona to Payson and Prescott. 40s to the 50s throughout the rest of the high country. What a treat. I tell you what, we are in store for a good one. Look at these next several days. Dry, very minimal if any rain chances. Very steady highs in the lower 70s. Each day with nearly carbon copy conditions. We will just find some more periods of clouds compared to other days. And we'll keep those overnight lows in the upper 40s for the next several nights.